Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I'm here just with a quick video, guys. I have this question that I get probably more than any other question right now. And I know it's because of these latest phones that have been coming out from multiple OEMs. And so instead of kind of answering this question over and over again, I wanna do it in a quick video here. And the question is, should I buy one of the new Snapdragon 865 phones today? Or should I pick up a great deal 855 or 855 plus phone instead and we have four phones here that fill that requirement we have first the Mi 9T Pro also known as the K20 Pro that was released in June or July of last year and this phone is still to this day an amazing performer I'm having no issues every time I pick this phone up one of the speedier phones that I use and yes it's 60 Hertz refresh rate and until the release of the K30 Pro this has it is still one of my easy affordable flagship picks for you guys but we also have the Realme X2 Pro which came out later on in 2019 and this this phone with that gorgeous 90 hertz refresh rate was the first one to really put this 90 hertz refresh rate at a lower price on the map and this phone to this day now with realme ui it's even better than it was before both of these phones can be had now for 300 to 400 us dollars you can find good deals on these phones far more than you are for these new releases and here we have the oneplus 8 pro which i consider the pinnacle of android at this moment better than the s20 ultra this is the china version that cost me around 7,000 hong kong dollars very close to 850 USD but in the States you can get this phone for basically 900 or thousand dollars if you're gonna get the top line model and last but not least the Mi 10 Pro which has been one of my favorite flagships of this year which is available here in Hong Kong for 6,000 Hong Kong dollars or around 770 US dollars but look in Europe it's a bit more expensive that's the thing with these Snapdragon 865 phones they are more expensive and in terms of the performance that you're getting out of let's say the Realme X2 Pro or the Mi 9T Pro is it enough of a jump to make you want to consider jumping over to one of these? And looking at the Geekbench scores, you see a clear separation between what the 855 and the 855 Plus was able to do versus what the A65 is doing. Now, benchmarks are only one part of the matter. I think the major difference that you're going to see between these phones and the 865 phones is the included 5G. Now, that may not be a big deal for you guys right now, but in, let's say, six months' time, these phones are not going to be able to take advantage of those networks while something like the Mi 10 Pro, even though it only has sub-6 5G, it still will be able to take advantage of those faster 5G speeds. We're also talking more future-proofing when it comes to GPU with the Adreno 650 on these phones versus the 640 on these. Now, if you ask me where is the sweet spot in this selection, this list of phones, I think I know where the sweet spot is. And it's not with the 865 phones. It's not with the Mi 9T Pro. The Realme X2 Pro might be the ultimate sweet spot. You're getting the 855 Plus, which is a step above the 855, and you're getting that 90 hertz refresh rate, which does make a difference when it comes to fluidity of experience and just a general feeling that this phone is faster. Now, some of you have asked in the comments, what about the OnePlus 7T? Well, that phone is another great value from OnePlus and is a great one to consider, I think, at this point. But this Realme X2 Pro has it beat, guys. In terms of value, there really is no other phone, I think, that is providing previous generation power and performance like this Realme X2 Pro. And unless you want to get a really sweet deal on this Mi 9T Pro or you really value the full display, I think this Realme X2 Pro is probably the better choice at this point. But there's one phone that very importantly was missing from this comparison. But that is to illustrate my point, guys. There is one phone here that I think might represent the sweet spot even better than the Realme X2 Pro. And that's why I considered it my affordable flagship of 2020, the Redmi K30 Pro. And this phone, I feel, really bridges the gap between the good deals you're getting here on these previous generation 855 phones and the slightly too expensive 865 phones. This is an 865, but it has made compromises like 60 hertz refresh rate. And in the case of the non-zoom version, no OIS, slightly lower RAM and UFS storage configurations. But like I said before, guys, the base model of this phone is coming in 420 US dollars. And I think it really represents the perfect compromise between 
between the previous generation of phones and the future generation of phones. And so it's gonna come down to your preference. Where on this spectrum do you land? Are you just looking for the best deal and just the best previous generation phone for the lowest cost? You're gonna wanna pick up one of these two, the Mi 9T Pro, still a terrific device, or the Realme X2 Pro. But if you want the latest and greatest and you're gonna have to break the bank for it, paying upwards of seven, 800, even $1,000 for these phones, then go for it. And you have the OnePlus 8 Pro or the Mi 10 Pro, but that is what is so compelling about this Redmi K30 Pro. It really feels like it's got one foot in the past and one foot in the future. It's compromised on certain key things, and yet it is still able to offer amazing flagship level performance. And in my opinion, it's a better pick than almost any other phone on the market. And add to that the gorgeous bezel-less look, the flat display, the tremendous build quality, and the best battery life I've tested this year. Maybe you don't have to compromise getting a previous generation phone or one of the more expensive flagships. Maybe you can just pick up this Redmi K30 Pro. So I hope this video is able to answer that question, whether you do pick up though, one of the previous gen phones, Snapdragon 865 phones, or this sweet spot Redmi K30 Pro. I think you'll have a tremendous experience. These five phones, in my opinion, represent some of the best experiences you can get on Android today. You can't go wrong with any of them. But hit me up in the comments, which of these phones would you pick up? And let me know, I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Ranky Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Stay tuned guys, more great content coming, more different types of content, also some new phones on the horizon as well. And thanks guys again for all the support here on Frankie Tech. So that's it, and this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech, signing off. Have a good one.